Building large-scale applications that drive our technological world relies on safe, secure and reliable systems programming languages. However, these languages usually have a trade-off between being secure and offering sufficient control. To fill this gap, Rust, an open source programming language developed by the Mozilla company, has been successfully introduced to write applications with high performance and low risk. Rust solves problems that C and C++ have been struggling with for a long time, such as memory errors and concurrent programming. Join us as we meet Derek Dreyer and Ralph Young from the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems in Germany to discuss safe systems programming in Rust. The core idea of Rust is that the root of all evil, so to speak, in systems programming is the unrestricted combination of mutation and aliasing. For example, if you have a data structure that uh, has multiple aliases, that means multiple references to that object in memory, and one of those aliases is used to mutate and potentially deallocate and reallocate the object and, and corrupt the views of the other references, then this leads to all sorts of uh, anomalous behavior like uh, use after free errors and dangling pointers and data races. And the idea of Rust is to prevent that entire class of uh, bad program behaviors using a strong static type system. There are many high-level languages such as C-sharp and Java that provide safe, high-level abstractions, but they don't give fine-grained control of resource and memory management. This is contrary to unsafe languages like C and C++, which give low-level control and are therefore used in widespread systems programming applications, but are fundamentally unsafe. There's two key innovations that Rust has over other programming languages. Uh, at first, I would mention its sophisticated type system, which draws on a couple decades of academic research to introduce the idea of ownership and also borrowing and lifetimes into a like, mainstream program language for the first time. Uh, the second innovation of the Rust type system is in how it treats code that the compiler is not able to entirely check for correctness. Instead of just giving up and refusing to let the programmer write such code, Rust gives programmers the opportunity to use these unsafe operations in carefully restricted ways. So this is an example of a Rust program that has a fatal bug which is detected statically by the Rust compiler but which would lead to a user after free vulnerability. In the beginning we are, the, we are creating a vector called v with the elements 10 and 11 and internally this is represented by creating a buffer on the heap where these two elements are stored. We are then creating the reference vptr which points into that buffer. Next, we add a new element 12 to that vector, which could lead to the in-heap buffer, which that stores the elements, being moved to a different place. So the old vptr now points to the old location, but all the data has already been moved to the new location. If we now use vptr again, that would be using a reference to a deallocated piece of memory. So this is a use after free bug, which could easily be a security issue in a real C++ program. But in Rust, there is no bug because the compiler is already able to tell that there is a problem. So it says it, it tells us as a programmer here that um, the borrow checker detected that something is wrong with the way we are borrowing this VPTR from V, and hence we can um, we can prevent the bug before it hits production. What we're hoping for with this article is to make more people aware of Rust, what's exciting about it, what the research challenges are, and uh, what the opportunities are for people to contribute to this groundbreaking language. Find out more in the contributed article, Safe Systems Programming in Rust, in the April 2021 communications of the ACM.